morning everyone. No games yesterday, uh, but there will be a big game today and I thought uh, with not much to talk about what happened, let's quickly see what we can look forward to this weekend. What are games that um, could be interesting. Um, but before that, um, I will have tonight or tomorrow morning I will have my video for uh, the next top 10 video ready it will be the top 10 uh, current European national team jerseys uh, I hope to have it ready uh, yeah pro probably by tomorrow morning you should have it um, I will not post any other videos uh, during the weekend because I probably won't get to do any and I will give you a big round of video uh, at, the, um, at the beginning of the new week. Um, so that's that. A little bit of housekeeping. And now let's get to it. What are other games to look forward to? I think the biggest game is happening tonight, uh, which is Juventus against Inter. Uh, among the three most successful teams, this is clearly the biggest rivalry. Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> no, I I think the content that Inter has for Juventus is probably even bigger than the one they have for the city rivals Milan. Uh, because it's always Juventus that kind of was standing in, in, in the way. Uh, the Juve-Milan rivalry is not as huge. I mean, I always felt that the two clubs are more friendly with each other than one might suggest. Uh, whether the Milan Derby, I mean, to me the Milan Derby is one of the biggest fixtures in the calendar still, even if the teams are not good, good, good at the moment. But to me, this the, it probably is the only derby where both teams have won the Champions League or a European Cup. And between the two of them, they have 10. Yes, Real Madrid is now uh, by themselves have more than that, uh, but it's the second most of any city. So just the prestige in this derby is really high, um, but it also is a so-called friendly derby. The teams don't like each other, and I hate, I love to hate uh, Inter. Uh, but you know, I clearly recognize their standing as one of the premier teams in Italy. And you need to, you gotta have a rival. So, uh, but Juve Inter is a big game. And last season I made the big mistake of hoping that um, Inter will beat Juve after Juve just lost to Napoli to get some excitement uh, in the Serie A again. Nothing like that, unfortunately. Inter was 2 1 up. I was so hope, ha happy about it. And yeah, you will turn it around. And honestly, it taught me again the lesson I said it earlier this week. It taught me the lesson: never cheer for the teams that you don't like. I don't remember now when I wanted Bayern to win. I really don't. But uh, I know it happened. And of course, they lost. Of course, it's always bound to happen. So stay true to yourself. So between Juve and Inter. I'll be for Juve, although it hurts me. I would like to see some excitement in Serie A, but you know, let's see where where it's going. Uh, Serie A calendar is a little is too much spread out this weekend again. I have to say, I think you have Napoli playing uh, on Saturday in uh, three, then I think uh, Roma is playing at six, and you have to me the most interesting game is uh, Milan Torino. I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch that one. We'll talk about it in a bit. Um, let's see. Other fixtures that stand out. Uh, so this was Serie A. Uh, by, uh, la, 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 let's get the rest right to it. Why, why won't I probably be watching uh, Milan Torino? Although I'm strongly considering it's because we have the Coppa Libertadores replay in the Bernabeu. Uh, pretty much the same time as Milan Torino, and yeah, it 
it reminds me so much of what happened a month ago uh, when Boca River was played at the same time as Milan Juve in the San Siro. Yeah, I hope that that's very perilous and that Milan can actually keep up the winning streak against the Torino team that yeah, yeah, is holding their own at the moment. Okay, other fixtures. Uh, England, I think it's all about Ch uh, Chelsea City. That's uh, the big fixture, and that's probably the one that I'm looking forward to watching. Um, and I really hope that Chelsea will do something there. Uh, we need, we need that win of Chelsea. I need to have a, at least a point uh, by Chelsea to keep things uh, interesting. If I, I think the East Ham Liverpool is playing at least at the same time as uh, City. I know that except for two games, all the games will be played on Saturday in the Premier League, which uh, given the last few weeks is also quite interesting. But you know, Chelsea City, uh, that's the big one here and we really gotta, I'm really hoping that it doesn't end in the City win. Uh, so let's see. I'm also curious how, how they will actually play jersey-wise. I would think they both play in their first jerseys because uh, Chelsea plays in kind of a darkish blue tone, uh, which leaves City not many options. I mean, they have the purple one that will not contrast well. They have, of course, the very dark one, which I don't think will contrast well. So I think uh, it will be City in their light blue kits, uh, which is something that I think is more than fine. Okay, that was England, a uh, big game in Germany, uh, they're actually two sort of uh, local rivalries, the one is Bayern, first one is Bayern against Nuremberg, um, yeah, it used to be a bigger rivalry than it is now, um, if you include the pre-Bundesliga years, Nuremberg is the second most successful team in Germany, of course the Bundesliga does not recognize it, I uh, find it a little bit of a fluke, the whole thing. Nuremberg was a great team in the early years of German soccer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's a little bit heartbreaking to see that they are not that great uh, anymore. Yes, they come into the Bundesliga, but they honestly should be uh, much, a much bigger team than they are. But you know, the pull of their local rivals from Munich is huge. And so that's the reason why I think Nuremberg cannot really grow more than they do. But yeah, that's one rival game, the other one of course is Schalke Dortmund's the Revier Derby. Uh, that is one of the biggest rivalries in Germany. And it is a true derby because uh, Schalke Dortmund is uh, part of the same mega city, uh, Ruhr region, uh, mining region, where there is uh, like all those cities, Dortmund, Essen, uh, Gelsenkirchen, where Schalke is from. It's basically one huge city and there's uh, not much to differentiate them except uh, the county lines. Uh, again, Sch uh, Schalke is the underdog uh, this time around. They don't have a particularly great season. Dortmund is the big one. I won't be able to watch that one um, because I don't see the Bundesliga, but you know, I'm, I have my eyes on that team. And then I think Saturday evening is another derby, uh, the Barcelona derby, Espanyol against Barca. Um, if this was played a month ago or so, I thought it would have been more interesting, but uh, Espanyol is clearly dwindling. And so, yeah, it should be, should be a Barcelona win, but Espanyol yeah, gets usually, usually the best performance of the year uh, against the big rivals Barca. So, and it's also one of those one-sided rivalries where, uh, you know, for Barcelona, yes, it's the derby, but it's not uh, that big of a deal. We know we are the bigger club, Espanyol lives for this derby. Uh, so, there you go. I think that's pretty much all the games that I'm looking forward to. Of course, the biggest one to me is Riva Boca at the Bernabeu, although I'm, it's a little bit deflated. I am curious to see how many fans will be there and what will be the atmosphere. 
I just don't. I think it, it lost a lot of its luster uh, due to all the complications and. Will it be played? Where will it be played? Da, 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 da. And then in the end, uh, it is now played in Europe. In a yes, I mean it's Spanish speaking, and yes, uh, there are probably a lot of Argentinians living there that carry on the rivalry. So it does make sense. It's a huge stadium. That's why it was chosen Nova Genoa. Although I think I would have loved to have this uh, game played in Genoa. I think the stadium in Genoa is one of the uh, better ones in Italy. For sure, it's a very English style ground. I think it would have done great for uh, Riva against Boca. Um, I said it before, I am more of a Boca guy than a Riva guy, but you know, I'm kind of. I'm, I want to see a good game. I'm not sure if I will get a good game, and you know, I'm not sure about the atmosphere in the stands. Um, I think River will probably lose their home field advantage because I think there might be even amount of uh, fans in the stadium, but uh, we'll see about that. I will go straight to the Club World Cup, which is kind of the most underwhelming tournament on the calendar. <laughs> but now the Europeans are at least taking it uh, serious, which they hadn't in the early 2000s. That will be the weekend. Let me know what you want to watch. Uh, if there are any games that you're looking forward to uh, watching, I think those are the, the big ones that I uh, put out on my calendar. And yeah, I will have a top 10 video up latest tomorrow. Uh, let, let me know about that one too. And yeah, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this little preview and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of videos like these and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.